one step at a time. What's going on my dudes, One Step here, breaking down the newest characters from the Mortal Kombat 1 combat cast. We got Rain, Sindel, General Shao, going over their moveset, how they work, probably how to play them a little bit, and so much more. So if you're excited for Mortal Kombat 1 and these characters, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe here for more content, and let's jump into it. I think they're going over Sindel first. Let's go ahead and put this full screen to make sure. Yeah, so this is Sindel first. So. Real quick, Serena as the cameo, so we're likely to see some Serena moves during this gameplay. Can't wait. Like this, like uh, purple energy, and then the use of Ooh. Like, regal purple. Absolutely. Queen. Yeah, she looks just like good old Sin Dale, man. Love to see it. Oh, she good really setups. Good imagine someone with magical long hair. Ooh, she looks pretty quick she too, which is nice. I really to talk about. First is Ford Four, which kind of takes out of the page of the last game and it's like kind of her main mid-range tool you want to give in is that an overhead and, and that's a mid right yes nah, not not an overhead good, but it has a really neat new follow-up so she jumps into the air it's a low combo starter and she can actually control how far she goes she can do this close version Ooh. and actually land right in front of them far version or she could just do it by itself, go in for a throw. A low pop-up setter, give you the 50-50 mix up. You want to grab or go for low? Go Ooh! For low. Man, I wish I was that flexible, I'll tell you what. Another normal is this back two, which leads into the overhead, and she can combo into it. Low, overhead, combo itself. into it? Oh my gosh. Let's go over the special moves. We'll start with the classic, the screen, the iconic, quintessential symbol. Love that Still move. one of her best combo starters. It stuns. They can't hear anything for a while. She's going to get a free hit. Kind of do it yeah, that's a while. Even not me to burn. You caught them sleeping, not blocking. Like I said, it's great to hit confirm. It's With just, punish. Damn, yeah, that's really good. All the time. All the time. Then let's go over fireballs, which are always one of the most important kind of key things about her offense. She has she just whip, I whip my head back and forth and low she just freaking throws projectile. Ball. Low one, two? Yes, that's canonical. Hairball. And then hairball. <laughs> that's a hairball. Straight, very quick fireball. It is not the downward arc it has previously done. You can do it really low to the ground and it's quick. And I think it's Interesting. Okay. Look at that. So she I has the ability to zone to a good <laughs> point. Her EX versions have some interesting properties. Straight one. Oops. Straight one. Will actually eat up fireballs. Oh, that is so, so nice because most of them don't actually do that, even enhanced. That's Lower really good. Really so she adds that little hair whip at the beginning, and up close, actually it hits. Um, the He's in the corner. So if you're up close, it adds an extra hit at the beginning. Keep going for pop up. Ooh, hit the low scream or pop up and scream. Pop up scream. Reset. Combo time. Oh my gosh. I, I think Thank you. that looks so beautiful. Kind of, it's neat. It turns this pure zoning tool up close into an actual offensive tool. Right, right, which is nice, which is nice. Both equally cool. You can also use that with your mix ups, which gets to the next tool her cartwheel, the overhead. Straight She's got overheads on. and lows in the specials, the dude. The armor. It's really good up close. It's great as a wake up attack. You can use it after a move like this. Okay. Mix it up with gains armor on enhance and it's a good wake up attack. Love to see it. In a really fun down three. Look at that. That's got range to it for your down three. One of the moves has is a mid, the other is uh, uh, overhead. Exactly. They look different, but you have to. Yes. You can't just. You can't be on autopilot. Right. And then lastly, she has the classic levitate. Classic so levitate. That's gonna go over projectiles. It's gonna go over cameo moves like Jax's ground pound. That, that's kind of unblockable. You can jump and stay there. If you see Jax come out, you kind of, you know, not get hit by that. Also, I wanna make a small note. That scream, they haven't mentioned it yet, if they do mention it at all. The scream uh, from what we saw from the previous trailer is actually a reset. So if you're an opponent, if you pop them in the air and do a combo and you land the screen while they're, like the screen while they're falling down, normally that would be a hard knockdown. They'd be on the floor and have a chance to wake up. If you end it with the screen that stands them back up as they land, kind of negating their ability to do a wake up attack, which is huge in games like this where 
what kind of wake up attacks are huge. So if you negate your opponent, the ability to actually do a wake up attack by standing them back up with a move like the scream that she's got, that's a beautiful property that that special move has that they have not mentioned yet. And I want to bring that to your attention because that's that's a pretty big deal for a special move. Trying to zone you out, Scythe will jump. Well, come on in, levitating, dude. She can also cancel it and she can do fun cancels. Like for example, she could do the back two. The airborne go in your flight, and if oh. you can exit, it's actually significantly faster. And she has some true blocks Interesting. that she won't be able to interrupt. Got it. Now let's talk about how this can play into her cameo. I have chosen, oops, Serena, right? I have chosen Serena, who we got a little taste of in the last trailer, but now we're actually going to show her moves. So her first attack is the blade it's a very quick projectile you can see the yeah very box. good solid a very fast looking projectile for sure then she also has kia's blades she goes full demon throws multiple and Ooh. Back. this actually leads into combos so you can do fun stuff you can turn that into, a into the combo. combo oh that is beautiful is look at that one really cameo different. 300 damage yes. no bars in a lot of ways, a lot I mean, of yeah. ways. Ooh. She also has the demon up kick, which is a great wake up attack. It's invincible. Good it's wake up attack, attack. invincible. In and then lastly, she has a fourth move. Every cameo has at least three, and mm. some might have more. So she's one of those. Jakarta's curse. She puts this rune on the ground, and while the opponent is standing in it, Let's set it to default. Liu Kang's meter is being drained. Pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, pretty see. fast. Yeah. Now, this is an ambush move, which means. You oh, his meter's being drained. Oh. So, for example, while you have a combo going, you can summon her. And completely so drain your opponent's yeah, you can meter. You can in the corner, mm -hmm. in the middle of your combo, have her coming out. Drain your meter, stuff like that. She could even do nasty stuff like drain your meter so you can't break a combo. Can't break her. Your combo. She's not gonna like breakers very much. She does not, which is let's something. Let's uh, maybe get into that a little bit more. So, let's go back to what we said earlier. Sindel has a couple of moves using the cameo system. So, you know, Sindel in the lore, she's the queen. She has this commanding presence. She has, you know, what the kids would say is Riz. Oh, they would say that. She's got the Riz. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, she could use that to actually command her cameo and maybe more. So let's start with this buff move. Once you activate it, while it's active, cool down, it will be significantly faster for your cameo. So you can see normally, this move's already pretty quick. Once she has this active, it's even quicker. And Serena, she is recovering so fast. Oh my gosh, the recovery on the on the cameo bar is just refilling so fast. So you can turn what normally would be kind of a limited use. Yo, 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 Sindel's gonna be an absolute monster. He has blades to have a pretty long cooldown. It's significantly faster when she has that active. Yeah. Now she's giving herself up there. Correct. There is some, there, yeah. Correct. But once she gets it going, her cameo mm -hmm. use is substantially better. Yeah, also wow. Also version with a really interesting twist. When she EXs, <laughs> she's now commanding the opponent's cameo. And if the opponent tries to break. She's commanding your opponent's cameo? <laughs> they will be stunned. And you get a reset instead. So let's show that again. So your opponent's like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my cameo to get out of here. And because they're under uh, Queen Sindel's like a uh, spell right there, uh, no, they just turn against you and you get a free pop up. Are you yeah. kidding me? Have the move active. When it goes for a breaker, you can see Sonya actually is like gets wow. the little head and you know, yeah. oh my god, I'm confused. And your breaker is not just disabled. Once you get that stun, they popped up and Sindel gets a full reset got it wow no breakers allowed couple ways to, to avoid them seems yes. like for... yeah you can drain their meter also, and just take control of their freaking cameo i'd like to show more dude she's already insane it looks like sindel 
can take control of an opponent's cameo and stun them. So for example, I will call it out. And Sony is actually dizzy. Yep. If Sindel is in the middle of doing this move, where she points, while the cameo is out, mm -hmm. so you have to do it on a read. Ooh, you have to do it on a read? Is stunned for this entire length of time and cannot be summoned. Okay. There's also an EX version. With this version, Sony will leave the screen and I gain control of her. And I actually get a free use of either of the cameo's moves of my choosing. So for example, I now have square wave. Oh my gosh. You can cameo, pick any of them. Correct. It's not any just the one they were doing. Moves. Right. Got I have control over it for a pretty good amount of time and it does not cost any kind of cooldown or anything. So you could actually do stuff like I could summon Sonya to start leg grab to go into a combo and then go into Serena's um, demon like anti-air move to end the combo. Okay, so sindel has got overheads, she's got lows, she can drain your opponent's meter. I mean, well, Serena can anyways, uh, which is pretty cool. But Sindel can then make her own cameo, whoever you choose, regenerate their bar a lot faster. They can stop your opponent's cameo or they can just take control of your opponent's cameo. That alone makes Sindel just an absolute menace, man. Honestly, once you start to master the reads on your opponent's cameos and stuff like that, it, it's just game over. It's just, Sindel, it's just game over, man. You can even use three cameo moves in one combo if you wanted to. People are gonna have some fun in training mode on this one. Yeah, it's, it's really, really neat. And it's something that's gonna, you know, how effective and the way you use it's gonna change on what the opponent's cameo is. Got it. Cool. Dude, Sindel looks absolutely psychotic. Looks, honestly, I've never, I, I've always loved Sindel. Don't get me wrong. I've never, I've never played her. She was never my play style. Uh, never had the, you know, most interesting to me play style for the way that I want to play my characters. This version, this play style, this move set of Sindel looks very captivating man like i i, I want to give sindel a really true shot man the way she can mix up your opponent take take control of their cameo negate their cameo negate their wake ups with her scream she can make her cameos come out a lot faster with her cameo regen bro so many tools inside one character wow let me know what you think of sindel down below already i love the way that rain looks in a game like this his stance his freaking drip and the water staff oh my looks looks beautiful they call him rain because this man is dripping so you'll notice right off the bat he has a new weapon which is his wizard staff wizard staff not a water staff you sure most of his normal attacks and he is definitely now much less of a physical fighter than he ever had been before. Oh, dude, the staff hits look super clean, dude. These water combos? Oh, yeah. It's a couple normals I really wanted to talk about. Like, you can see even his sweep. Instead of using his foot, he literally uses his water staff. This is definitely I the love the kick up. The it's kick so up. good. That looks really the good, yeah. Especially the animation on that. Yeah, it's a, there's a low, love to see that. I absolutely love it. So let's start off with a couple normal I really want to show. He's forward two, forward two, one. Three. It's got a low mix up there. That's really good. Ender. He's also got forward three, which is an overhead, into a double overhead. And he gets a pop-up. Oh, yes, please. Double overhead. And then one oh. other normal I really wanted to show was a standing four. Which... <laughs> His kick is okay. back, baby. His kick is back. His around-the-world kick is back. Across the world. Now, this is an interesting one, because if you hold it... He gets a combo. Oh, so you gotta hold it to hit out it. Out of the hold to fake you out. 
Okay. Oh, you can mm, you can fake it out. Now, what's really cool about that is like you're, you might be wondering, well, how am I gonna get it off if I gotta hold it? The answer is cameos. You got Frost. You got Sub Zero. You got freaking anybody that can like freeze you or stun you. Once your opponent is stunned or frozen, but hold the kick, get a free round the world kick, boom combo. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Check out his throw, which is a nice nod to the classic water bubble. He's oh, I love that. I love that throw. So you can see his normal attacks are very fresh and different. So you oh, dude, the water effects are great. So he has some really interesting zoning tools. I mean, some might even call him a premier zoner. And let's start with his straight projectile. Which so he's got projectile too, okay. A ton of real estate. It's fairly quick and has some interesting ways that you can change it. If you EX it, he gets a full knockdown. He can actually hold it down and get a stagger. Oh, stagger if they hit for a combo? Out of this hold down. So you can mix up doing the move, timing, yeah. doing different timings, doing the EFs, or canceling out of it. Keep the opponent guessing. When you have a projectile like that that takes up a ton of space, what's the one thing you know the opponent's going to try to do to beat it? Teleport? Jump? Jump. Jump? And that's not going to be super effective. <laughs> He's got an anti air projectile, dude. Oh, you want to jump? Psych. It actually allows him to pop up for combos. Uh, so okay. Cool. Again, it makes a full, you know, full screen projectile become kind of an offensive tool up close. Now, one thing would be, well, what happens if they're using projectiles against him? And he has a water bubble where he surrounds himself in water and any projectile is gonna be negated. It'll actually just be destroyed when it hits the water bubble. And this is something that he can set up, go behind. Okay. That's literally Aquaman from Injustice, dude. Are you kidding me? It, it surrounds him and travels with him. Ooh! Travels with him? That's clean, that's nice. Exactly. So then you can go in, do his lows, do his overhead, all that good stuff when he has the water shield on. Gotcha. Now, there's other ways you can get in. He can set these water portals, and he can set them anywhere he wants. And then he can actually warp through them. Yo, he's got a Rick and Morty portal made of water. He can just teleport wherever he wants. You want to get out. Just step back. Oh, set one behind you. You can set one, do some fun zoning, and then use this to get back in. Dude! And then you can go straight into combos, fun stuff like that. Wow. Now, once you've established that you're willing to teleport or throw out some of these fireballs and the opponent's scared to move, you can start using the Whirlpool. And he has close, medium, and far. These will go on the ground. And if the opponent walks into it, they get popped up for combos. <laughs> you get a ground trap, yeah, teleport, grab and projectiles. Yes, it is so cool looking. Yeah, it looks awesome. The visuals there are great, the especially with the water. Is his geyser. This is a pretty good advancing special. He That's a mid. That should be a low. Come on. He exit. It has armor, so it's a good wake up attack. Got armor. Pressure. And I think it'll be one of his best combo enemies. And oh, lastly, okay. One more awesome full range move that kind of shows the full extent of his power. Oh. So cool. And yeah, that looks really, really cool. cool. The way he holds it? Oh, yeah. Lockdown. So you can do stuff like you're doing your, your uh, water ball. I almost called it a fireball, and it's mm. literally the opposite of that. Go into this. Take out the opponent, immediately drop down. You can set up, you can do all kinds of stuff. Set up portals. Wow. You doing that Thunder God move, cancel it, go through the portal. Just all kind of options on the screen. I think um, he's going to be a really interesting character to kind of freeze them up to the screen to get him and start doing his mix ups. That double and overhead is sick too. Ups, let's kind of show how he can use his. Cameo and go with that. I assigned him Striker. Striker. I think a cop teaming with a 
So we saw Serena and her stuff. Now we're getting Striker. And I've already seen some crazy stuff with Striker. So let's see what they, let's see what he brings to the table, especially when he's put with Rain. So the first thing I'll show with Striker is he has his grenade toss. Straight out of Good old grenade area. toss. Comes in, throws the double grenades. They can either go low or high. And you can imagine, these are ambush moves, which means they can come out while Rain is doing his attacks. Mm. So you can do stuff. Ooh. Like you are doing your straight up. Okay, while, okay, so yeah. He's, doing his grenades. he's got some projectiles too. I mean, obviously, we could, we could guess that, right? Guns, grenades, stuff like that. So you can do stuff like. Oh, that's clean. Striker also has a set of baton moves. He's got Cop Bop, where he comes in and does an overhead. And the classic baton sweep from MK3. So these are low. It's an overhead and a low mix up. So, oh my gosh. Yes. Right. So when you see your opponent, uh, you see Striker, you got to guess yeah, now. Well, is like he going to go over it? Is he going to go low? They don't want to get popped up. What am I supposed to do? Sweep them. But you can also do this in a string. So in overhead, overhead, you can do overhead, low. Then they get used to the timing. They're like, oh. I'm one of these like ninja killer or sonic people with good reflexes. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, I can fuzzy that. Then you start doing stuff like cock bop, mix it. it up. So just from this 50-50, he can use striker to have more 50-50s. That's, so like, that, right. that's how you beat Sonic Fox. Exactly. That's, that's how you beat Sonic. Wrong, you gotta be a lot like better than that. But the mix are insane. Said, it's more than a 50-50. Got it. Lastly, Striker has one more move. Striker comes from behind and handcuffs you. And this gives you a reset. It just handcuffs you, gives you a reset to continue? Oh my gosh. So you get into your combos with a handcuff move, then go in and continue your offense. So like you could start a combo with your overhead, go into the handcuffs and then make them guess low. Got it. It's super fun. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you just uh, go in and just like keep him guessing again 50 50 overhead or low this is our first time Ooh, yeah water whip electricity Ooh, love that so rain as a character is is an actual wizard he, he fights with his staff he can put whirlpools on the freaking ground water ports he can just teleport using water and set him how he wants to even in strings he can do like thunder from the sky he can you know, have he's got like a anti-air water projectile he's got a just a normal water ball to throw at you they can stagger if you hold it bro he's got ways to keep you guessing he's got some good mix-ups there and then also striker was kind of crazy cool like he can continue he can like extend your combos with the grenades he can go 50 50 with the overhead and the low baton and then of course he can just handcuff you so you get a reset and just like continue your offense there with a 50 50 of like okay i'm gonna grab you go low go overhead what am i gonna do dude rain's gonna keep your opponent guessing and i say this for every character but now i want to give rain a shot he looks really cool i mean i played aquaman and injustice so i might be a little bit biased here but it looks pretty damn cool i'll tell you what shao khan or you know general shao in this universe looks just absolutely stunning man the way they did his armor the way they did his gear his look his colors man they just freaking nailed it i love the new look they gave general shao in mortal kombat 1 and here we're gonna see his gameplay and they gave us motaro as the cameo so we're gonna see some shao khan general shao and motaro gameplay here just to show this is kind of the thesis statement just, just swings for the fences. He's a just, powerhouse. just swings at you. Just back two. It, it has advantage. So if you're blocking, don't want to push any buttons, probably. Push yeah, I was got advantage on that swing. That you're gonna get hit. Right. Um, great move there. Um, this is a really quick, kind of almost get a little distance to it too. Like I can get you from there. Like really nice. Kind of can lead in some combos. Right. Uh, punishing move I like to use is the, is is this right here very fast bounces them up we can show some more stuff with that later but obviously you can see there's some pathways yeah decent pop up really there like especially with cameos as well or just either uses zacks or he's just huge big boots <laughs> just like yeah, standard just, big boot yeah he just and absolutely just destroys you man he hits so hard it looks strings. like uh, right so we have he has this overhead doesn't combo in anything but hit the throw button afterwards so good. And he also has a low one as well. 
Ooh, and a low one as well. Damn. Uh, now let's talk about his special moves. Uh, his special move, the one that kind of encapsulates what he is, is Power Strike. He will just throw the axe on the ground, and there it is. You have about seven, eight seconds just to do stuff without the axe, right? You can also call it back. So, okay. Just like now, Thor, you can just call the axe back. Different strings. That's back back one. Oh, different strings after the axe is out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, and I get the axe back after you're forced doing the command grab. So all of his axe moves get replaced with different normal attacks. Yes. And some are faster, some have different reactions. Whoa, right, so, so when the axe is gone, you have a different move set? We'll get to that in a second. Even his throw changes. Yes, even his throw. So, Whoa. Uh, here's his throw. Just beat your face in? While we're at it, we'll just show the, you know, Mataro as well. And then with the axe, he just bangs in the face with the axe. Right. Oh, so I mean, it changes, but not like that much. So you can huge, without the meter burn, I got a full screen projectile. Full screen, low projectile, screen. low combo. Some, some of this. Pop, Pop up. up. Oh, let's nice. go. Right. Um, he has a buff. This makes your axe damp uh, powers do more damage. You can okay. also meter EX that to get more time on it. As well. Oh, um, so you want more damage, which Shao Kahn's already going to do a ton of damage? A lot of you can just up it. Damage is his, also his uh, armored launcher is his knee. Ooh, that was quick, kind of too. Uh, kind of makes me think of the MK3, like, up shoulder, except now it's a knee. Right, and it you can you, you can throw that out a lot of places. Ooh, yeah, that is but quick, too. If you uh, EX the knee, you get a free power slam after. So you can do like that. Okay. And then it's, it's on the ground again. Okay. So that's how you rotate throughout the character, right? And now it's on the ground, now it's back to me. So then you can start doing really cool stuff like this into into power slam. Back into that. Into the command grab right. onto the axe. Nice that stuff. looks and beautiful too. Wow. Right. The way that just flows ground, together, it looks awesome. Other cool things can happen. Power slam. Now I have a ground pound. Okay, are Ares from Injustice? Oh my gosh. Now here's the interesting thing. When you are on the axe, it is an overhead low. Okay. Which is kind of tough to block. Yeah. You can also- Overhead you know, low? Down, uh, do this. Wow. And that's like a quick recall. Right. Yeah, so if you have it down, you also have a move where you can speed near it, and it's very fast. Slash. Okay. That's sick. Um, so a lot of really cool stuff you can do. And he's so he's clearly meant to be going in and out during yes. the fight, in the middle of combos, getting it back at the end of combo. Maybe recalling it if you want to. Right. Lots of stuff like that. But if you are, as a as my opponent, near the axe, there's a lot of stuff you need to think about. Right. So <laughs> yeah, that is like very interesting. Axe, you have, you know, kind of really good range, not the quickest moves. Without the axe, you're much quicker, and yes. you can use it, establish the axe on the screen, and they're going to have to respect it, and that's going to kind of open up your ground. Yeah, making your opponent respect the axe on the floor is cool. very interesting, um, and it's good also, like, pressure. Yeah, it's a good strategy. Pick stuff out of the air. And that's Ooh, that's, that's so mean. quick. I love that. The, the, the knee into power, power, uh, power strike is huge. Right. Right. Really important. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. I do want to show some stuff with Motar. Okay. So Motaro has a couple things you can use. Now, obviously, I'm a big guy. Prop projectiles might scare me. Right. Well, I can do this. I can uh, pull them out, walk behind it. You don't want to be throwing projectiles. Out. That's so that good. That will reflect. And I'm, I'm that is really good. With that. Like Motaro not just has that. like good offense, but a great defense his, utility like for a move. Right. That's really clean. And now you're kind of, you, now you're, you're losing two. What do you do? Boom. You're, you're nice. He also has this this turret he can do. He'll shoot uh, three shots at you. Has a low one too. He can do that. Okay, a low Here's one. Here's something that I've chosen Matara with General Shao for a reason. Okay. Remember this move. Yes. Can't, can't do a lot out of it. Right. He has this teleport, right? Okay. Which maybe you can read a projectile. Maybe not. But you can move around the battlefield quicker as right. General Shao. But with this overhead, I can teleport. And still and continue a, a combo. combo. It's a true combo. So now you have to worry about this, and you have to worry about uh, something like this. 
Like that's now in play. Whoa, right. Mataro so making that a true combo with the uh, teleport the is wild. Oh, I love the way that works, dude. Knee into the slam back down. Oh my gosh, so good. Guys, let me know down below who is your favorite of these three characters that we were shown today, Sindel, Rain, or Shao. Are you gonna be maining any one of them? Out of the three, Sindel or Rain are kind of tied for me. And I think they just got a great tool set. Though Shao looks awesome too. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.